Thanks for watching, and if this video helps you, which I'm sure it does, uh, please give me a like, make a comment, and thanks for watching, and go fix your phone. Okay, so in this video, we're going to clear out the detected moisture in your USB port problem that is happening with my Android, and a lot of people have issues. So this is the best way I clear it out. It works most of the time. Sometimes it goes away it's on its own. It's very frustrating. So let's go here. You're going to open up your phone. You're going to go down to settings. And then you're going to go search for apps. You're going to click on apps. Now, over here where it says your apps, there's a little icon thing here. You're going to click on that. So you're going to want to click on show system apps right there. You're going to press OK, and then you're going to go up here to search. Then you're going to search USB settings. So you're going to see USB settings here. You're going to go here. So what you're going to go here down here is to storage. So you're going to go to storage and cache in the cache. You're going to press this button here and you're going to clear this cache to clear out the warning clear cache is cleared and then you're going to go back then you're going to restart your phone that should take care of the issue another little step that i do i shut off the phone i would totally power it off so it's going to be powered off and then i'm gonna press this top button and this power button at the same time. Hold down. And then it's gonna start up, but it's going to, should start up in a boot mode. So now you're gonna get this funky screen. So up here, your choice is gonna be reboot system now. So that's already set there. So you're gonna hit the lower power button or screen button that's set so it's gonna boot so right away it's gonna boot it's gonna start normally and also another key trick is when you put in the port again put it to a high power charger I think that's key also it gives enough juice to it to help it start up and if you put it to a low powered a usb port it might not work so be ready to use the stock charging thing or a high powered um usb connector to boot the phone so you just install and it should charge it should be normal so again if this fixed your issue or gave you an idea to fix your issue let me know in the comments and like subscribe helps out the channel and hopefully I can help you out again.